Welcome to PSLE Maths, where you find solutions to PSLE Math problems. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thank you. Let's look at a question from Henry Park Primary School, Essay 1, 2018 paper. This is a former question, question number 16. A total of 481 teachers and principals attended a conference in an auditorium. At the end of the conference, four-fifths of the teachers and three-fourths of the principals left the auditorium. Twenty-six more teachers than principals remained in the auditorium. Part A of the question is how many principals remained in the auditorium. So let's first start drawing the model for this problem. Let's assume one box is the number of principals remaining in the auditorium. Then the number of teachers become one unit plus 26. If three-fourth the number of principals left the auditorium, one-fourth the number of principals are remaining in the auditorium. So this one unit is one-fourth, which means the total number of principals will be three more boxes. Similarly, for the number of teachers, what is remaining is one-fifth the number of teachers. So the four-fifth of the teachers who left the auditorium will be four more of the same size box. So now the total number of principals and teachers put together was initially 481 and that is given. So we mark that. But we know at the end there were 26 more teachers than principals which means each box of the teachers is 26 more than one unit. So we mark them in the model. So the number of teachers in total become 5 units plus 5 times 26 while the number of principals is 4 units. That makes the total number of teachers and principals put together 9 units plus 5 times 26. So if we subtract 5 times 26 which is 130 from, from 481 we get 9 units. 9 units is equal to 351. So from there we get 1 unit or 1 box is basically 39. So we pretty much get the answer for the first part of the question. How many principals remained in the auditorium? One unit of number of principals have remained in the auditorium which is 39 principals. So coming to part B of the question, all the remaining teachers and principals were put into a number of groups. The number of remaining teachers were divided equally into the groups. The number of remaining principals were also divided equally into the groups. What was the greatest possible number of groups the teachers and the principals were put into? For this, we need to first find out the number of teachers that were remaining at the end. So that is one unit plus 26, which is equal to 39 plus 26, that is 65 teachers remain. So to find the largest possible number of groups in which the teachers and principals can be accommodated, which means they'll have the equal number of teachers and equal number of principals in each group, we have to find the common factor between 39 and 65. So what are the factors of 39? 1, 3, 13 and 39. And factors of 65? 1, 5, 13 and 65. So what is the largest common factor between 39 and 65? It is 13 which means the number of teachers can be divided into 13 groups with each of them having 5 five teachers, each group having five teachers and similarly the number of principals can be divided into 13 groups and each group can have three principals. So 13 is the largest number of groups. Uh, that's the answer for part B of the question. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums. If you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, Please post it in the comment section. Thank you.